Good, Good morning, morning Wildcats. Wildcats. Today is Friday, April 14th. I'm Ariana. And I'm Ariana, and this is your WCAT News. Seniors, we need a variety of pictures for the senior slideshow. We want you and your friends to be in it too. Please submit seniors. Please submit to senior slides 2017 at gmail.com. Pictures can be from all four years of high school. Wildcats, the class of 2018 is sponsoring a volleyball tournament. Sign-ups for teens will be from April 17th to 26th. Pick up a form in the Media Center, Student Services, or the school website. These forms will be due by April 26th with a cost of $5 per person and coach. Seniors, if you have at least a 3.5 unweighted GPA and 60 volunteer hours, then be sure to apply for the Sean Bartel Memorial Scholarship. You can get a copy of the application from Mr. Derling, or you can download it by going to www.discoveralc.com. A scholarship is worth $1,000. Please return it completed to Mr. Derling ASAP. Now for lunch and sports. Today for lunch, we have PB&J, Tangerine Chicken, Big Daddy's Pizza, and a build your own salad, and we have nothing for sports, so not a weather. Hello, Wildcats. For today's weather, we got a high of 88 and a low of 66. Have a great day. It's that time of year again, Wildcats. Graduation shout outs and DVD orders are now being accepted. Miss McPherson will have printed copies in her office. The forms and payment of $20 must be returned to Miss McPherson for approval by Friday, April 21st. The spring play, Almost Maine, is coming to our theater next week. This romantic comedy is one of the most popular plays produced in American high schools, and it's sure to be lots of fun. Tickets are only $7 for adult, $5 for students, and will be sold at the box office on show nights. Almost Maine will be here Thursday and Friday, April 20th and 21st. Showtime is at 7 p.m. Congratulations to the Wildcat track team and the 20 athletes who qualified for, regional, for the regional meet on April 29th. Prom is right around the corner. This year's theme, A Night in the Wild. Prom will be located at Wari Park Zoo on April 22nd and goes from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. Now for today's news feature. This is Stephen Richardson from the WCHS News. Today I'll be informing you of the decline of kindness in the school. In Worthy Chapel High School alone, approximately 99% of students have experienced or witnessed someone getting insulted by someone else. Personally, I get victimized every single day. Sometimes he makes fun of me for the way I talk or the way I dress. Um, sometimes he tells me I'm annoying. Most people find taunting another person to be a harmless joke or a prank when they fail to realize that most of these jokes have a potential to seriously harm someone. Most of the time it's just, you know, like, it's, most of the time it's friends just like nicknames or just like being mean to each other. Studies show that making jokes that are intended to lower a person's self-confidence is one of the greatest leading factors to depression or even suicide. People say that chivalry, the act of being extremely kind to one another, is dead. Other people say that chivalry has been gone for so long that society perceives it as flirtery. Chivalry is not dead nor gone. Um, I was complimented today on my pants. Um, I define kindness as just being really nice and being a good person and just trying to do everything to the best of your abilities for other people. Kindness is a hard thing to describe and to define, but to me I think it's when you do uh, something good and it makes somebody feel good. This is Stephen Richardson from the WCHS News signing off. Thank you for watching Wildcast. Follow us at the Wildcat on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and be sure to check the website for lots of up-to-date information. That's, That's all for your WCAT News. Have a great day, Wildcats.